All right, y'all, right behind me, right back here, this intersection, this street right here is University, and that is where Colorado Boulevard basically turns in to Highlands Ranch <laughs> Boulevard. I just scared the crap out of the squirrel. And this spot right here is very much like the commercial hub of the Highlands Ranch neighborhood. And if you've been watching these videos, you may know that I love the Whole Foods. I love access to a Starbucks. If I'm living in the suburbs, give me a Whole Foods, give me a Starbucks. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of other commercial here. And it's very much the commercial hub. There's all sorts of stuff going on. And we are here because today's video is a virtual tour of Highlands Ranch, Colorado. And I can absolutely promise that Highlands Ranch, Colorado is going to appeal to a lot of you. Let's go. How's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch and I work with the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called Welcome to Denver. Check out our website, welcome to denver.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in beautiful Denver, eh, Denver metro area, <laughs> the front range of Colorado. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, planet. Whatever it is, relocations, first time home buyers. That's what we do and that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those things appeal to you, do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very, very much. Thumbs up is very helpful. And leave a comment, say, I don't really care what you say at all in the comments. You can literally type, I don't care really at all what you say or whatever I said, <laughs> and you can leave that as the comment. I'd appreciate any kind of uh, any kind of a comment at all. And but I'd love to hear, you know, specifically what you want to see in the video or what you think about the area. And as always, if you are thinking about moving here, hey, touchdown, by the way, if you are thinking about moving here or buying a house here for the first time, so stupid, uh, just do whatever you can to get a hold of us. We have two very efficient ways that you can reach out. First of all, go to the website, welcome to denver.co. We have a contact form there, piece of cake, fill it out, a little bit of information, and we will get back to you. Or second, just shoot us an email at info at welcome to denver.co, and we will respond to that as well. They both lead to the same spot, which is me. So, you know, however you wanna do it is cool. And we look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to helping you. We look forward to showing you around even more than we are right now. This beautiful place, Denver, the Denver metro area, the front range. And today we have a great one to share with you. Highlands Ranch, right now I'm at Highlands Heritage Regional Park. It's a little hard to tell because I'm just in the football field. This park is massive. There is, there's so much going on here. Football field, soccer field, uh, pergola, there's like a sort of a band shell situation and more soccer fields over there. There is sort of open spaces, which Colorado does so, so well. There's basketball courts, there's like a little community center. Uh, there's a dog park, there's playgrounds. It's huge. I don't know like the acreage, but it is very large and there is all sorts of stuff. Parking is a piece of cake. It's really great. Also this football field and the soccer field over there is turf and it's like perfectly flat. I'm jealous. I didn't have this growing up. <laughs> this is super nice. And there's like the lights so you could play at night. God, we did not have that when I was a kid. So nice, but all right, let's just hop into this Highlands Ranch. It's a great one. It's a banger. Let's go.
right now I am in uh, Cheese Ranch. Yep, Cheese Ranch. <laughs> It's, it sounds like a dressing, uh, but it is not. It, it is a park here in the Highlands Ranch neighborhood, and it spans uh, between you know two pretty big neighborhoods. There's paths, paved trails. It's not paved trails. Uh, it's a, a great park, a great spot to take a walk, go out with the dogs, uh, or ride your bike. I suppose you could ride it here as well. Um, down the paved path and again these go a very long way that seems to be the case with most trails you know around here certainly in this highlands ranch neighborhood you can hop on a trail and uh, get just about anywhere and quick vibe check for the you know just general feel here in highlands ranch it is suburban heaven uh, <laughs> it's basically just suburbia just done very well not not necessarily like high-end suburbia i'm thinking like middle of the road but nice i don't know that middle of the road is fair to say it seems a little bit like not really doing this place justice because it is very nice but really just like when i think of suburbia this is like what i'm thinking you know they it, it's like you just kind of take it out of your brain you go i want suburbia this is it if i'm trying to just get suburban amenities then this spot is gonna do the trick very, very, very well. You, like a lot of suburbs, you're a little bit removed from the downtown center. You're maybe 40, eh, 45-ish minutes to the Denver International Airport. Uh, you kind of have to go across uh, from kind of southwest to uh, east, but then you're maybe 35 minutes to downtown Denver, which is not crazy. I would say that's a very serviceable drive for most folks when looking at, you know, living in the suburbs, but maybe working downtown or just going downtown. 35 minutes if you just go downtown like once every week or two, that's nothing. You know, I feel like for, for most people, you know, it seems like it's either very important to be, you know, uh, close to the downtown core or it's not at all, right? Fun fact that I think not a lot of people are thinking when they look at it on the map, but Highlands Ranch is actually has more folks who live here, has a higher population than even Boulder. It's actually only one step higher, but I don't know, that that actually surprised me. There's about 105,000 people who live here as of, I think, the 2020 census. And Highlands Ranch is basically just south of Littleton and Centennial, and then to the west of Lone Tree. As far as just like overall ratings are concerned, I only put some stock in this, but I do find it somewhat interesting. Highlands Ranch is ranked sixth best place overall to raise a family in Colorado. Again, according to niche.com, not me, <laughs> and ranked eighth best place to live at all in Colorado. So that's pretty, that's pretty high marks. And actually I super get that. It is a very livable place. Again, I said ultimate suburbia, basically all of the amenities close to downtown. It is a really good blend of a lot of things. And the schools here specifically, you know, I'm always talking about schools are pretty rocking. We're talking number four uh, best school district for athletes in Colorado and 17th best schools overall. And there are actually four high schools that serve this area, which I, is kind of crazy. It's not that big of an area <laughs> to have four high schools, but I guess a population of 105,000, that does make some sense. Um, but they're gonna range from an A minus to an A plus. So kind of no matter what, no matter where you go in Highlands Ranch, you're gonna get a pretty, pretty good school. The highest ranked school that serves Highland Ranch is uh, Rock Canyon High School. And that serves kind of like the southeastern portion of Highlands Ranch. And that comes in at an A plus. And then on like the western side, there is Thunder Ridge High School. That's kind of the southwest and then Mountain Vista High School. Uh, that's sort of the northwest or really most of the west, but then uh, <laughs> to the north. Uh, you are gonna get an A on both of those. And then there's one high school that comes in at an A minus that serves sort of that north eastern quadrant or uh, section of Highlands Ranch, which is Highlands Ranch High School. 
And then honestly, there are so many middle schools and elementary schools that I'm not gonna dig into it. But uh, pretty much, I would say almost entirely, they're ranked B plus to A, you know, so anywhere in that range. Most of them, I would say, come in at an A minus. So again, kinda no matter what school you're thinking, you're gonna be able to find a very good school in the Highlands Ranch area. Yet another reason that it just becomes sort of ultimate suburbia. That said, as far as home prices are concerned, you're not gonna have to pay, uh, what do they say, pay out the ear or something like that, pay through the ear? I don't know. It's not gonna be wildly high prices out here, even though you have the great schools and all the suburban amenities. It's not cheap, it's not like a discount, but median sales price is 740 which compared to 650, you know, median sales price of the entire metro of Denver, that's not that bad. On the very low end of single family houses that are currently on the market, it's like 430. Um, I would say probably not gonna be in immaculate condition for that price, um, but that is sort of like the current barrier for entry. And I would say 450 overall, like I really wouldn't expect anything uh, single family under 450 here but not to say it couldn't be done but that's kind of that's kind of what you're looking at on the low end to get in here and if you're not worried about the bottom end well cool there's some <laughs> insane houses here 7.5 million is the most expensive house on the market right now hey let's go look at it that sounds like fun it looks really cool and you're gonna find 80% of the folks who live here own their house, 20% of people rent. Median income is like 150K per household. Pretty good. Generally, the quality of life ratio to cost is gonna be real good. Let's go for a drive. Right now I'm in a, a, like an open space. It's the Bear Creek Trail that sort of winds through this very, very nice neighborhood. I think this uh, represents the, I don't know, the higher but not highest level of what a neighborhood can be here in the Highlands Ranch neighborhood. This neighborhood specifically is very, very nice. These houses are beautiful. They're sort of perched up high. A lot of them have very high, I'm seeing a lot of sort of like walk out basement, two story homes with decks up on the second story as well uh, to just sort of uh, capture or get the view, right? Because there are beautiful views here. So this is a, a very nice neighborhood. And there's other neighborhood <laughs> that's gated that I wanted to go to, but I can't really go there without an actual showing. Uh, so. I don't know. I'm not gonna walk around a gated community shooting a video and uh, probably get the cops called on me. But if you want, uh, if you're interested in such a neighborhood, we can absolutely, you know, set up a showing for you and you can make that happen. But gated for a reason. They don't want people like me walking around filming. That is, you know, that's fair. But we're talking pros and cons of living here in Highlands Ranch. And, you know, I will say cons were a little bit difficult to come up with for this spot. The pros were fairly easy to come up with. Big shock. Okay, say it with me. What's the number one pro? You probably already know what I'm gonna say. Schools. Schools are excellent here. We're talking an average of an A, A minus. There's four high schools, all of which are higher than an A minus. And then all of the middle and elementary schools basically are B plus to A plus. So yeah, you're gonna have no problem finding a very, very good school here in the Highlands Ranch area. Next up, next pro, tons of suburban amenities, like pretty much everything you'll ever need. You could probably never leave Highlands Ranch and you would <laughs> live uh, very comfortably. It has all, uh, pretty much all of the stuff. I'm gonna turn this way, but holy buckets, it is bright out. Okay, next pro diverse housing stock. Truly, really, it, it ranges pretty dramatically. 450 
you know, all the way to like <laughs> eight million, uh, these houses are gonna be around the million dollar mark. Um, some of them, maybe a little bit less, uh, some of them in the, you know, 1.5 million dollar range. I will say, I think it's a surprisingly accessible area for how nice it is, which actually leads me to my next pro, which is that it's also very new. Um, that's not gonna be for everybody, but it's very new. And so the houses, the infrastructure, and even like the commercial spaces and recreational spaces are all new. They're all very well kept. So yeah, you're not gonna be dealing with old infrastructure, you know, parks that were built uh, in the 80s when <laughs> things were more dangerous. Yeah, that kind of stuff. A newness, you know, even you're gonna be buying a house that somebody's already lived in, it's still going to be relatively new which leads me to my next pro which is that a lot of the houses here partly because they're new but partly just because they're nice are nice right like there are very very beautiful homes here uh and you know you, it depends on you can spend a huge range of money and get a house that you would probably consider nice depends on your taste depends on your budget I think getting a house that most people would consider nice is very, very doable here. And you can get epic if you want. In that gated community, there's a house up at the top. I think it's seven-ish, eight-ish million. Looks absolutely nuts. I think there's an indoor swimming pool. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's one of uh, very few things, but that says something. An indoor swimming pool, like a lap pool, that says something. Next, peaceful, you, right? Other than this very small and relatively quiet plane, it is quiet out here. You are, you know, removed from the city, the suburbs, the neighborhoods themselves are chill, peaceful. If that thing, once that's gone, it's so quiet. You feel me? You're also gonna get very nice lots here. For the most part, there is sort of a detached townhome neighborhood that has smaller lots, but yeah. I would say on average, good size yards, a lot of very big houses, you know, 300 square foot. Wait, I think I said 300 square feet. That's tiny, 3,000 square feet. And I think most of these houses are probably 4,000 square foot plus. So big houses, big lots, not the store. Okay, but then cons. Everywhere has some cons and there, you know, it's no exception, but it, it was kind of hard to come up with them. For one, I think anything over 30 minutes from downtown, I'm just gonna call a con. That's starting to get a little far, but it's like 35 minutes. So it's really not that bad. But for some people, it is, you know? Some people want a more city lifestyle, and that's cool, and you're not gonna get it here. It's very suburban, and yeah. And that leads to the next con, which is with that suburbanism, suburbanism, I made that up, uh, but with that, there's like a blandness, you know? Uh, it's the stores, the sort of commercial spaces. It's like nothing super exciting. There might be like a couple interesting like restaurants and bars here, but everything else is mostly gonna be chain, mostly gonna be st see stuff that you've seen or could see in, you know, just about any area, any suburb around the world, right? So I might just call that just, it's culturally bland, uh, you know, but I think that's what a lot of people are expecting from a suburb. Although there are some suburbs that sort of uh, kick that. Maybe they have a quaint downtown that's like, you know, interesting, has little interesting shops in it. That's not really the case with Highlands Ranch. I guess pretty much all of these <laughs> cons are just sort of like based around the idea of like, it is the ultimate suburb. But so it's pretty cookie cutter. The houses, you know, from neighborhood to neighborhood, they might change, but within a neighborhood, they are very, very similar. They have a whole ton of identity from house to house. That's not to say you can't find a somewhat unique house somewhere in this area, um, but overwhelmingly, it's gonna be fairly like, you know, tracked style houses where they're just sort of uh, duplicates kind of changed a little bit. But again, they're beautiful. All right, that's all I got for cons. So all in all, <laughs> the con is that it's suburban and the pro is that it's like the ultimate suburb. So take that as you will. All right, let's pop over here and, uh, you know, show you around a little bit.
park a neighborhood park in a neighborhood that is fairly interesting fairly unique you, I mean there are other versions of this throughout the Denver Metro but it's a rather unique neighborhood for one within Highlands Ranch um, and it, it might be unique to the Denver Metro area depends where you're from but it's more of what you would call like a detached townhome neighborhood where technically they're single family homes because you have all four walls, right? Are your walls. You don't share any walls, but they are very tightly knit within this community. The spaces between, uh, weird Dave Matthews reference there, but the spaces between the houses are uh, <laughs> quite small. I don't know why Dave Matthews came to mind, but I will say that there's a pretty great view from this park. Uh, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's pretty. It's, uh, and this park, this open space, is great. Uh, again, this is something that I think the Denver metro area does very well. It's just leave room for areas like this, leave room for natural beauty. I'm a fan. But specifically, talking Highlands Ranch, if I had to sort of sum it up, for one, I'm going to basically call it <laughs> a suburbanite haven. It is like, it's got all the things, you know, an absolute boatload of suburban staples, suburban amenities. And uh, yeah, it's like, if you're into suburban living, uh, it is just, it's got it all. Okay, real quick, I don't know if you can see down there, this path, is, I love that about this area. There are walking paths all over the place from neighborhood to neighborhood. And that goes down into that open space. I love it, really great. Right back here, you're gonna find totally different house style. Right over here, completely different house style than the neighborhood that I'm in right now. And I think that's kind of the next sort of bullet point of just summing up Highlands Ranch. It's a very diverse housing stock. You can, this neighborhood is maybe 550 to 650. It's probably the sweet spot. Um, I think you can spend a little more. Maybe you could have gotten in for, for a little bit less, but not so much anymore and you can you know buy a home for less than that 550 mark there is a housing stock that supports that and you can easily spend a million plus here as well it just kind of depends on what you're looking for but i like i like that diversity in housing stock i like what it sort of does to a neighborhood and all that so see what i'm saying pretty small uh space there and then last but certainly not least i say it all the time schools here are excellent uh, you're looking at like an A minus A score pretty much across the board, very good schools. And I think this diverse housing stock, all of the suburban amenities are just going to continue to sort of support, you know, the good schools and that sort of overall really rocking quality of life. And if you watch these videos, you know that we do a section we call our for fans of section, uh, which if you don't get the reference, it's from like back in the days, if you went to Best Buy and you bought like a CD from me, it was like emo bands, <laughs> full disclosure. Uh, and it would say, if you like this band, check out this band. That's exactly what I'm doing with this for fans of section. If you like this neighborhood, maybe check out some of these other neighborhoods because they're gonna have pretty similar characteristics overall. Number one, I'm gonna say Centennial. I do have a virtual tour on Centennial in the sort of uh, ultimate suburban kind of way. I would say that Centennial is very similar to Highlands Ranch, and probably potentially more affordable than Highlands Ranch, um, but you're gonna have good access to schools or access to good schools <laughs> like you do here. Um, and it has a, it feels very similar in a lot of ways. I don't know that the access to like an epic house is maybe quite the same in Centennial as it is here. There are some, but I would say a little bit fewer. 
And then next up, I'm gonna say Castle Pines. Castle Pines is quite a bit different. It's a little more on like the luxury end, but geographically, it is fairly close. We also have a video on that, which I would implore you to check out. It is definitely gonna be more expensive like, to get into than it is here, but maybe that isn't the most important part to you, and maybe the vibe is. Castle Pines has some beautiful views, some absolutely beautiful houses, and yeah, has a lot going for it. I think you will enjoy it. Next up, I'm gonna say Parker. Uh, Parker is kind of on the eastern side of the southern metro. And again, good schools, like kind of nice suburban vibes, uh, but maybe a little, a little less of like the ultimate suburb, but definitely has a lot going for it. If geographically you're not tied to a certain area and you like what you see here, I would say Parker could be a very good option for you. On sort of the other end of that spectrum, if you are either not tied to a geographic location or you're looking for something like totally on the other end of Denver, then I would check out Erie. Erie is a really great up and coming suburb. It's where Jen from the team lives. We have a video on that as well. We do on Parker as well. So everything so far, we have videos on. If you like this, go check out those videos. If you like what you see here, but maybe there's a reason that it's not exactly for you, don't worry, there's tons of options that could do the trick for you in the Denver metropolitan area. But no matter where you're thinking, no matter what is the right fit, we just implore you to get a hold of us. We will help you navigate, you know, the, <laughs> the murky waters of relocating uh, to the Denver area. You know, there's a lot going on here. You look at a map, it's overwhelming. You start looking at houses, you're like, this is a cool house, but I don't know anything about the area. So hopefully that's where these videos can kind of come in and at least begin to sort of uh, span the gap for you. But then if you reach out to us, we will absolutely we'll finish that out for you. And I think by the time you're done, by the time you're moved here, you will feel great about where you ended up buying and where you ultimately are calling home. So check out our website, welcome to denver.co, fill out the contact form there, or just shoot us an email at info at welcome to denver.co. They both lead to the same spot. Both? That was a little bit Canadian. They both lead to the same spot, which is us. And we look forward to helping you. We truly look forward to showing you around this amazing place, Denver, Colorado. And as always, if you have not done so yet, as you exit the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very, very much. These videos take a long time, a lot of effort. And if it was helpful at all, I would appreciate the thumbs up and leave a comment while you're at it. Just say what's up, say, hey, I like Highlands Ranch or Highlands Ranch isn't for me or whatever. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And it really is helpful to the channel and ultimately helpful to your future neighbors here in Denver as it helps them find the channel, ultimately helps them find a home here in Denver. All right, we did it. That is a Highlands Ranch virtual tour in the bag. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.